What's up? This is Squad Twenty Four Four Day. We're following something to Seventeen Video. Today we'll be doing some logging here on the Mog Map. We'll be using the Cat Skitter and the Giant Wood Chipper. We'll be hopping in the Twenty Seventeen Ford F Three Fifty King Ranch, and we'll be making our way over to the logging operation site, which we did set up on Friday Night Live. It was a lot of fun, and I do appreciate all the support on the live streams because live streams are a pretty cool way for me to interact with all of you guys live so this 2018 Ford is a great vehicle to drive to logging operations and then pretty soon we will be adding a hitch to it and we'll probably tow some smaller trailers even maybe a smaller log trailer which should be pretty cool to do I would also like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content. I really do enjoy doing daily farming some videos. These are a lot of fun and I'm also excited to be back here doing some logging. We did some when the game first came out, but it's always cool to kind of get back into it, especially since we do have more and more mods, even a pretty cool wood chipper, which will be the first time we are going to be using it, and it should be pretty interesting to use a, one of the largest wood chippers in the game. So this uh, Ford is a pretty efficient way for us to get over here, and I also do enjoy kind of starting at our house, uh, trying to be as realistic as we can. We are just about to arrive here at our logging operation. We will definitely have to build a uh, shed area, even like a mini shop, which should be a pretty cool video. We'll kind of park the Ford off to the side to prevent us from kind of running into it. But as you guys can see, we got the wood chipper, the beast, all set up. The stabilizer's out, and it's ready to do some wood chipping, which should be pretty cool. And I think we'll first kind of start off hopping in the cat skitter. This is one very nice uh, skitter, and we'll be kind of going over. And I'm thinking we'll probably kind of start off kind of doing this little section over here. It's small. But I think we'll go section by section, trying to cut down all of the trees on the map. If you guys would like to see more logging videos, let me know down below in the comments. I'm very excited, like I was saying, to be back here, and uh, it's always a lot of fun to do it. this. So let's take a look. We need to get a good angle. It looks like this will pretty much have the tree fall down, and let's take a look which way it's going to fall. As you guys can see, it doesn't really want to fall, but we got the skitter, so we'll kind of uh, go into it just a little bit, and it looks like it's just about to kind of fall. Wow, take a look at that. It is falling, and it's most likely going to be rolling, but it actually looks like the uh, stump will kind of stop it. Awesome, so we kind of got that on the ground now. Next up, we'll kind of come over here, and let's take a look at how we use this. So we'll kind of switch over here. And let's take a look. So we do need, it looks like we could open up these. Wow, that looks pretty cool. And it looks like you could also rotate it. That's also a very nice feature. But we do have to make it just a little bit larger. And we'll back up here and get the piece of wood. I really do like this skitter. It's a very cool design. And it's also pretty high quality graphics and detail put into it. So we'll kind of uh, clamp it down onto it. Take a look at that guys, we got it. Now we'll kind of pull all the way back to our site. Then we'll pretty much kind of cut it up into pieces to put it into the wood chipper. And this is what we'll be doing today using this. And I really do like kind of changing up instead of just using the uh, tiger cat to remove all of the trees. This should be a pretty cool way for us to do. So next up, we'll kind of uh, come over here and we'll kind of uh, take the claw off and we'll drive forward and we'll load this in the chipper. I really do enjoy logging, it's a pretty cool aspect of farming sim, it was added back in FS15 which was pretty cool and I really do enjoy kind of using different equipment and also changing up from our usual landscaping and a heavy rescue, everything like that. Wow, this actually came pretty close to the 2018 Ford, but take a look at how long this tree is. And it looks like we'll probably have to cut it this length, right about here. So once we get a few cut, we'll start the beast up and we'll start to put them in. Awesome, and I did also add a wood cell point and a wood chipping cell point on the map, which should help us out. Take a look at that, guys. We got two pieces cut up now. I really do like this still chainsaw. I think we'll probably kind of switch up the chainsaws every now and then to kind of give us different uh, brands to try out. And we could always use the in-game processor, but those have been around for a very long time. 
So I want to, uh, with this logging series, to change it up, use different equipment that we do not already use, and uh, just trying to change it up with everything. So next up, we'll kind of turn on the Kenworth. It does need to be on for the wood chipper to be running, which is actually pretty cool. But take a look at this. We'll be hopping in the John Deere, and uh, I mean, this is one epic front loader. So we'll be turning this on. It's the John Deere 524. So next up, we'll kind of uh, kind of come over here, and this will be the first piece of wood we are putting into the chipper. And like I was saying, if you guys would like to see more logging, let me know down below in the comments. And what should we do for the next logging video? Always let me know your feedback. I do appreciate all of the support. So take a look at that. It looks like we are running into a problem of it. it really doesn't want to go into the bucket. And we'll load this on. And this is definitely the first time using the Beast Wood Chipper. Very large chipper. And it should do a good job. Back up here. And we'll load it in. Take a look at that guys, it did put it in and it's already loading up that dump trailer so we might actually have to go sell some of that today because I mean there's going to be a lot, a lot of wood that we'll be bringing over here. So once we load up a few more and I think we'll probably load up this tree, we will pretty much try to focus on bringing a lot of trees over here also. That's what I would do want to focus on today and it looks like that piece of wood definitely wants to kind of fall out so we'll kind of move on to the next one. And I have gotten a lot of requests to do some more first person action, so we'll be trying our best to do a lot of that today, which should be pretty cool. And it is a little challenging with a front loader, so I think we'll kind of get out of this view and kind of make sure that we, and look at that, it's just going to move around on us, so we really need to find a really good uh, claw, if you would say, for the company. So I think for now, we probably won't cut that up, and we'll hop back in the cat skitter, and I think we'll kind of just go around cutting them down and bringing them over here, and creating like a stockpile of wood that we'll be putting through the chipper. And I did do a mod review on this and the Tiger Cat. That's a very cool piece of equipment, and I think that uh, this will be a very helpful uh, cat, if you would say, to kind of go around and especially to drag these over. This is like the first time we are also doing that. I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content and I also would like to thank each and every one of you supporting the live streams each and every week. During the holiday season we will be doing a lot more streams to do some pretty cool games and we'll be streaming different games coming soon which should be also interesting to do. So we'll kind of come over here, we want to keep a good distance away but I mean take a look at those chains, I mean this will definitely not uh, end up getting stuck anything like that. This will be one very helpful uh, cat to go around. So next up we'll kind of come over here, we'll claw this up and wow very fast and we should be able to bring a lot of trees over today. So I think we'll kind of stockpile them kind of right next to the chipper. We do not want them too, too close. That looks to be good. We'll kind of uh, loosen it up. A little challenging how to take it on and off. I will have to learn the controls, but wow, very, very fast. We could probably uh, do a lot with this. Wow, I think we'll kind of do... I think that we could probably do two at once if we really wanted to, but I do not really know how to have two trees fall next to each other. So I think uh, kind of getting it as close to the bottom as we can should be helpful for us and I think we'll continue to cut down. Take a look at that, there goes timber, wow, very very tall tree, very large and when you are cutting trees down it's very unpredictable where you uh, want it to kind of go and sometimes they do not go where you do and that could end up uh, being uh, not the best so you always want to make sure you have the safety equipment with you so you never run into any problems so next up we'll kind of back up and let's see if we could get this one back up just a little bit more it looks like we are going to be pretty close to that stump but we should be okay and we actually need to bring the stump grinder from the tree company over here or even purchase one of those we'll be doing some upgrade videos very soon once we kind of continue doing more uh, logging videos so as you guys can see, we got two trees over here, which is nice, and actually, the way we are going to line this up, we could probably load a few on to that wood chipper, which I really want to do. So we'll kind of, uh, let's take a look, let's kind of undo that. Wow, we should be able to do that, so we'll kind of pull this off to the side, kind of park it up right over there, and we'll uh, hop on our chainsaw, and I think we'll kind of cut these up now.
Awesome, we got one tree all kind of cut up with the branches, so we'll be doing the next one. And I think that we might look into different maps here in the future. But I think it's going to be pretty cool to kind of cut all the trees down here on the mowing maps for us. And I did get a lot of requests to kind of start one. So next up, we did miss a little section, which is okay. We'll kind of come over there. And then next up, I want to kind of load up a few at a time, see if it's possible. So we'll cut this one down in the one right in front of us. If you guys do have any cool logging ideas, let me know down below in the comments equipment wise. There is many different types of equipment that are out in farming sim, which is also pretty cool. I do like having our variety of equipment to kind of choose from and use on a day to day basis. And it also kind of changes up the videos and uh, that's always cool to do. So next up we'll kind of come over here. I want to get more at once. Let's see if that's possible because I mean this uh, claw is definitely made to get multiple and that's going to be pretty cool if we can. So take a look at that. Looks like we did get just about, uh, we got three in here, which is perfect. Wow, I actually closed up very tight on them. That is pretty cool. I really do like uh, the bucket. Sometimes it does run into problems like earlier, but we should be able to load these on. And looks like they were all a perfect size. But take a look at the beast, guys. Very realistic chipper. I do like it a lot. And I mean, it's very efficient. Take a look at that. It's loading up that dump trailer. That's actually filling up quite a lot and it does have a pretty small conveyor belt, but wow, that's a lot. So I think we'll kind of load up a few more, then we'll call it a day. We'll kind of back up here, and I think we'll probably just do one more uh, kind of load. Kind of, I think we'll probably grab them now. It might be a little bit easier since they're up off the ground. So that's actually a pretty cool idea to do that. So next up, we'll kind of come over here, and we'll use the steel chainsaw to cut it. Awesome, so take a look at that, that kind of did fall, you do have to watch out that it does not fall on your feet, that will definitely not be good, and it will kind of crush your toes, but take a look at that guys, we got another one, which is perfect, I mean these look just a little, little too long, but we should be okay. I also did kind of look around and did see that there's a few that actually come with straps where you could just strap them down and they will not move, which is actually a very interesting design. So like we're saying, let me know down below in the comments if you do have any cool equipment ideas. It's always very helpful, but wow, that truck is definitely getting full. So I think we'll kind of have to go sell those, I mean, full trailer of wood chips almost. That's, looks like we could hop up in here. So take a look at that. I mean, we definitely filled this trailer up. There's just a little bit left and a little bit left here in the front, which is okay. So we'll kind of hop in this truck. We will pretty much, I'm actually thinking we'll, we'll probably create a stockpile of wood chips before we go sell them. So let me know down below in the comments. Should we kind of save all the wood chips in a one massive pile until we kind of uh, finish our operation just to see how much? And I think we'll also be selling some logs just by themselves and not even wood chipping them. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's logging video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.